Hey Eurovision fans, it's Tom coming to you from Dublin and back for another Eurovision reaction video. Today I'm reacting to Tell Me More by Turan Tural X. Tural Turan Ral Ran Ral Ran X. Turan Tural X. They're representing Azerbaijan in Eurovision 2023. I'm going to listen and react and see how this could do in semifinal number one and can this qualify. So let's kiki. As always, I will leave timestamps in the pocket bar. If you can't understand me, you can slow down the video and put on subtitles here. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got semi-final prediction videos coming up really soon with lots of delicious fridge magnets. I guess so, Azerbaijan continues with their process of doing internal selections. I hadn't heard anything about their choice at all this year, not even any rumors or anything. In the end, they've gone with this twin duet, Tural Turan X. Uh, I like the X at the end of their name. I presume Tural and Turan is their names. Yeah, they don't have a Wikipedia page yet, so it's a little bit hard. Yes, that is their name, Tural and Turan Bagmanov. And I believe this is a self-written song, so that's something very unusual for Azerbaijan. They usually have songs written from people from abroad, usually with like a kind of Azeri instrumentation usually added in to give it a little bit of a regional flavor. So this is a different formula for them. I'm not sure if it's a once-off or if they're trying to encourage more national songwriting. I haven't listened to the snippet. I, I avoid snippets whenever I can. So this is my first pure, unadulterated reaction to their song. It's called Tell Me More, which makes me think of Greece. Tell me more, tell me more. Did he have a big car? <laughs> I don't know if that's the actual lyrics. It, like it could be something new for Azerbaijan, a little bit unexpected. Maybe this is them adapting to the Televote only semi-final. They did very poorly with the Televote last year. They got zero points in the semi-final. So maybe they're thinking that they need to send something a little bit different this year. This could also be a reaction to the voting scandal. I'm not sure, but they're in the second half of the first semi-final. They're gonna need something that stands out. Okay, this is Tural Turan X. That name is gonna kill me. So one of number secret bank. Okay, have a little bit of nap before you release your song. Why not? Okay, interesting intro. Okay, song starting. Okay, it's a voicemail. Ooh, that's very risky. It sounds kind of 90s, late 90s. Reminds me of that song, Steal My Sunshine, a little bit. Hmm, very different vibe than Asban usually sent. Super chill, very, very chill. Hmm, it almost gives me the same kind of mood as Georgia last year. Hmm, they're very quirky, which is unusual because usually as of time we get very polished, very pretty. Very, very, very different from Azerbaijan. Almost borderline rapping. It's interesting to see a different side of them. I don't know if it really works, but I definitely appreciate the fact they're trying something new. Real easy going. Hmm, very, very strange. Okay, what's happening in the music video? I like their styling. It feels very retro. Yeah, the production does sound kind of 90s though. Maybe early noughties. I don't know if it's working. I kind of like the vibe of it. It's very chill and relaxed, but melody-wise, it doesn't super stand out. And we have a lot of bands already in some people one in particular. So those bow ties look a little bit um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory to me. Willy Wonka. Oh, those suits are ill-filling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this has enough oomph in it. Okay, building up a bit of a climax now. Is that it? Oh, hope, no. Um, it feels like Liverpool. It does feel, it feels a little bit of like Britpop actually. Late 90s Liverpool Britpop, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, there's a sweetness to it, but I just don't know if it has a strong enough melody. Let me give you my first thoughts, first thoughts and I'll go on for a second listen. My first thoughts are very unexpected, very different for Azerbaijan. We're used to like very clean, polished, produced pop songs that usually have kind of, like last year was written by Swedes. Generally, I think of them as written by like other, uh, other European countries. And then I tend to think of their performers as being very handsome, 
well-dressed, super fashionable. The whole thing is like quite calculated, not necessarily in a bad way. I think it's usually kind of very put together and pleasant to look at. But yeah, this is more like raw, gritty, authentic, which we've never seen from Azerbaijan before. I'd say like the most non-pop song we've ever gotten was probably their uh, original entry. It was a Heaven and Hell or day, day, after, day After Night, the one in 2008 with the angel and the demon. That was like a tiny bit rocky and a tiny bit of pop rap. Day After Day, Elner and Samir. Yeah, that was like the, the least poppy song they've ever sent prior to this. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a risk. I'm not sure what happened behind the scenes because really everything is so secretive. I'm not sure if they had someone else and this fell through or if they're explicitly going for a different sound this year or they wanted something that fitted in thematically with Liverpool, which isn't usually a strategy that countries have. I know that as a host city, Liverpool does have quite a strong musical identity compared to some of the other previous hosts we've had recently. The, the song, I kind of like the vibe and I like the newness of it and the originality of this considering it's Azerbaijan, but it's not particularly impactful. It's a lovely soft vibe, but I don't know if it has that melodic hook. I would love the soft vibe, but with a stronger melody that I could remember a lot easier. I like the quirkiness of their like styling. It was kind of vintage, but it, sometimes it went into like looking a little bit too thrift store. They want to keep it like vintage, but still kind of chic and polished. Like the suits looked a little bit too large. The cravats they had looked a little bit Willy Wonka, so just a little bit of editing there should clean it up a little bit. At this point with semi-final one, it's so competitive and such carnage. People are just dying to jump on anything that is not going to qualify because the alternative is losing songs that they really love. My gut instinct after seeing that once is that this is going to be one of those sacrificial lambs. Doesn't have the massive impact. I get it's going for like a slower, more introspective, soft feel. Do we have anyone else in semi-final one? Like I think Latvia has that soft feel, but then it just sounds a bit more interesting. Netherlands has a soft feel as well. Again, more interesting. And I think they're just more is happening and in Switzerland. So I feel it's kind of in with those like slower songs that's competing with them. And I don't feel like it's going to come out on top of all of those. Now, Azerbaijan, we do know, can have some amazing staging, like with Truth, where he had the laser going onto his heart and it was doing surgery. That was really, really spectacular. And that pushed them up the odds quite a bit. So we know that they can, they have a lot of money. We know that. And they might be able to invest, but I'm not sure what kind of like big financial trick you could do that would look natural to the song because obviously that laser, it was kind of like a delicious produced pop song. So it kind of made sense because music videos for songs like that tend to have those type of like technological wow visual things. This doesn't have such an obvious thing you can just buy to elevate it. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a second listen. I don't know about that voicemail opening. It, it sets the song back 20, 30 years. I think it's gonna look the wrong side of Goofy having him on the stage doing a voicemail. Look, let's go through the positives. It's definitely different. I think it stands out a little bit in semi-final number one, not necessarily in all the best ways, but it does stand out. It's got some things that are kind of unusual, like that rap part, which isn't really, really, really great, but it is unique, I suppose. And it's got the voicemail thing. Again, I don't know if that really works. It reminded me a bit of that song, Kiss Me by Sixpence on the Richer, which is from 1998. So that might be why I was getting those late 90s feels. The, the guitar element of it really, really reminds me of that. And the speed of the song, the tempo as well is, is a lot like Kiss Me. I just think there's so many big hitters in the first semi-final. There are so many lions. This really does feel a little bit like a lamb that's gonna get torn apart. Is just so many songs that make like a really, really bold impact both visually and sonically. And this is a little bit more meek and shy, which could help it, but I think it's much more likely that it's just gonna, gonna get like eaten up by the rest of them. Plus we already have some other th songs which are going for a more introspective feel, like Latvia is going for that as well, but their song is more interesting. From their national final performance, they've already got some cool ideas with the lights and whatnot. And, you know, Switzerland and Netherlands are also going for songs with a kind of slower tempo, but it also looks like their visuals are gonna be more expensive and more interesting. So yeah, it's going for kind of like indie feel. It already has competition in that aspect. Plus I feel like those other ones I mentioned have already put forward stronger visual concept. At this point in time, this doesn't even look borderline. No, for me, it looks more on the no side. It's interesting though. I do like that Azerbaijan are trying something new. I wonder what happened behind the scenes if this is a conscious effort to do something different or if the other songs they had, they just knew, okay, 
these other songs aren't going to qualify, we might as well try something different and try and open the door for other people in the future, like people who are singing their own song, that maybe they're hoping that this will encourage more singer-songwriters within Azerbaijan. But yeah, I just don't think that the, the current package really works right now. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what they decide to do visually, but I think even just that starting opening with the voice message is gonna just give this a slight tone that it's out of touch or a little bit old fashioned. I think it's meant to be kind of cute, but it maybe comes off a little bit not self-aware. You know, I'm not saying voicemails only happen in the 90s, but I definitely associate leaving voicemails with being kind of like something that people just don't do as much anymore. Yeah, unless Azerbaijan can pilot some incredibly expensive visual trick to just elevate the absolute crap out of this. I think this is quite a sure non-qualifier for me. But I'll be curious to see if this has some fans because it's got such a mood to it. I think some people who previously haven't liked Azerbaijan songs might actually enjoy this this year. This might be the first time that they've liked an Azerbaijan song because it just feels so, not opposite, but very contrasting to their previous entries. So that might be like a positive outcome from it, Azerbaijan getting some new fans. I get, that's what I thought about Tell Me More by Tural Turan X. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. I hope to see another Eurasian Jackson video face soon. Goodbye.